Students at Carnegie Mellon University are looking to biology to guide new robot designs. As a part of the Mechanical Engineering Department's Robot Design and Experimentation course, a team of graduate students have taken the term pet project to a new level, drawing inspiration from the common house cat. Using the resources from the newly renovated makerspace, the team, aptly named Catastrophe, designed and prototyped their robot over the course of one semester. Steve, the controls expert on the team, led this initiative with his knowledge in simulation and trajectory optimization. We drew our inspiration from cats and their ability to reorient while freely falling in order to always land on their feet. From previous research, we know that cats use their spine in order to reorient and we wanted to try to use robotics in order to mimic this cat riding reflex. This is a non-holonomic motion planning problem, which means you cannot get to the target location following a direct path. This is similar to parallel parking a car. You cannot move the car directly and sideways. You gotta do a series of motions, turning the wheel, driving forward in reverse, in order to get the car in there. Similarly, we're trying to use pitch of our backbone for our robot cat, as well as yaw, in order to impart a rolling motion. Currently, we're using trajectory optimization in order to plan for the motion of the cat. We are able to successfully get our cat to flip 180 degrees and land on its feet. At the beginning of the motion, the robot arches its back while twisting sideways. It continues its motion until the end of the drop, where it has no angular velocity similar to how a cat rides itself. Although the team is modeling this technology of a falling cat, other applications of this technology include spacecraft reorientation, using a robotic arm, as well as stability during aerial phase of running for people. The most challenging part of this problem was getting our cat to flip from a height of five feet, which gives us about half a second. Fortunately for other applications, we have either more time or we have smaller movements to accomplish. So if we can get this to work on our robot cat, we can get this to work in many other research areas. Currently, we're developing a controller that uses a gyroscope to more accurately determine the cat's position in order to always land on its feet. We're very happy with where we're at right now. Although the class is over, students will continue work on this project to make a larger benefit to humankind. We look forward to seeing this group continue to push the limit of what is possible.